when they first started and they made that initial incision and I was like, mm, I don't know how I'm gonna handle this. <laughs> don't black out, Brad. Nurse ass rocks. What's going on guys, it's your boy Brad. I'm back with another video. In this video, what I wanted to do is, you know, give you guys my little introductory, the first video of my official second semester and let you guys know what all I have to look forward to, what all's been going on and all of the fun and exciting things coming up. So this semester, you know, it's, it's a full 16 week semester, but it basically consists of two mini semesters, two eight week segments. In the first eight weeks, the one that I just began, I just began Peds and OB. So, uh, you know, we're doing rotations through labor and delivery, antenatal, uh, maternity admissions, mother, baby, all of those sorts of things. And then in my second eight weeks is going to basically be med surge two. And there may be a little bit of psych mixed in with that. I'm not hundred percent sure because I haven't gotten to it yet, but basically my entire graduating class, which I think right now we have a little over 50 people. We basically got split in half, so half of us went to uh, labor and delivery or uh, peds and OB, and then half of us went to med surge too. I'm in the the half that's doing peds and OB first. We basically got like 101 pages worth of reading material, not to mention PowerPoints that we had to do before the next class period. So yeah, we're already getting swamped with information and material to study. Our instructor told us right off of the bat, she said, for the guys that are in this class, guys tend to struggle the most in this class. They tend to always you know come for remediation and um you know definitely have to form steady groups and things like that because we're not used to women's you know menstrual cycles uterine cycles little does she know i know a thing or two about that but nah it is overwhelming though because um just don't know you know we're not we don't know about all the different kinds of birth control and everything that just goes into gynecology basically i know a thing or two because i paid attention and studied very diligently whenever i was taking a p so i still retain a lot of that endocrine you know uh luteinizing hormone follicle stimulating hormone estrogen progesterone how that you know goes with the menstrual cycle and the uterine cycle and all that stuff i still remember a good deal of that but uh, another reason why i kind of have a one up on perhaps the other guys in my class is because my wife is a labor and delivery nurse. And coincidentally, the hospital in which we're doing our labor and delivery and all of those rotations is at the hospital where my wife works. So it's kind of funny how it worked out like that. So we've already been assigned a very long list of medications that apply to women and gynecology and pregnancy and all of that stuff. You know, a lot of birth control medications, different, you know, medications to stop preterm labor, to stop postpartum hemorrhage, a lot of stuff. And um, so I've kind of been getting on my grind as far as that's concerned and studying that material. You know, we're gonna be talking about STIs, antenatal, postpartum, labor and delivery, pregnancy complications, a whole bunch of stuff. So I've got my plate full for sure. I just had my first clinical day, which was on Friday and it was pretty interesting. So the way that my clinic is gonna work is we all go to the, to the main hospital for women. Since it's only eight weeks, we have such a limited amount of time in which we're gonna be able to go to these different areas of the hospital. So like I said, we're gonna go to labor and delivery, uh, maternity admissions unit, the NICU, postpartum, mother, baby, antenatal. There's a lot of different areas within the hospital. Since we're so limited on time, we're only gonna get one day in each place. Well, in my first clinic day, labor and delivery was my first place I got to go. And it was pretty interesting because, you know, I already knew that uh, I need to eat a big breakfast because I could be seeing some stuff that I've not seen before. And uh, that was the case. So, you know, whenever I first got there, right off the bat, they said that we have a C-section that's gonna be going back very soon. Uh, does anybody want to go and that was the nurse who said that and my instructor pointed to me um said you're first and so i was like yeah baby because i didn't know if there were going to be many uh deliveries that day you know that shift and so i'm wanting to get all the experience i can because we're only getting one day there so i got to go back and see a c-section you know and i'm i'm uh i got the gown and everything on right here's a little picture of me <laughs> kind of funny got my little hat on that was after the surgery. But yeah, it was awesome because, you know, got to go back there and actually go in the OR and see, you know, all of the sterility, all the sterile technique and everything that goes on and, you know, see them cut her open and pull a baby out. It was pretty cool, you know, see them uh, stitch her up and staple her up and 
I don't know, it was a very interesting experience when it first, when they first started and they made that initial incision and I was like, mm, I don't know how I'm going to handle this. <laughs> don't black out, Brad. But, but now nah, after they started doing that and started putting in work, it was, it was like nothing else. It was just awesome to me just to be able to watch it. Very intriguing. I also got to see which that person who got that, uh, c-section was the patient that i was assigned to but i got to see a different patient one of my one of my classmates patients i got to see them get an uh, epidural so that was also pretty awesome my first time ever seeing that you know they numb up the they numb up the back with a little needle and then they pull out that big needle and give the epidural so that was really cool to see you know never really knowing how exactly that worked but i think this is going to be a very interesting semester very rewarding semester in the fact that you know i'm not really going to ever pursue this at least in my mind right now where i'm at i'm not ever going to pursue this as a uh, career choice being a nurse you know labor and delivery <laughs> or anything like that i don't even know if they hire men to be quite honest with you but it's awesome that i'm going to be able to at least get the experience and you know that's one thing um, about this every day whenever i go whenever i'm going to be going in you know i approach it like i'm a man so it's a little awkward for me because I've never dealt with anything like that, pregnant women and babies. And actually Rachel P just dropped a video and she's talking about how she's going into peds and OB and how she doesn't know anything about babies and it's the fear of the unknown. Um, you know, you're afraid of hurting them and stuff like that. And so that's the case for me, but it's magnified even more so because I'm a guy. And so it's like, I walk in there and it's awkward because I feel like the woman doesn't really want me there because I'm a man and I feel like the father definitely doesn't want me there giving me looks <laughs> like, what are you doing in here, dude? So uh, basically we're going to have all of these little rotations at the, the hospital for women. And then we're going to have at the end of this eight weeks, like the last two weeks, I'm going to get two days of rotation on a pediatrics unit, which is also going to be interesting, you know, working with kids or adolescents, what have you, um, something I'm not used to. I'm not really used to working with patients in general, other than what I've gotten here in nursing school so far. So working with kids is going to be another uh, new experience, something that I'm not used to. But, you know, I've told myself that I don't really know where I want to go within the realm of nursing once I graduate. And so I figure that I'm going to be able to decipher that through these rotations that I'm doing. So I think it's going to be kind of interesting to work with kids and see, you know, that dynamic and how I feel about it. Uh, other than all of that, I've already got my first exam coming up in about two weeks and it's going to be covering a large chunk of material. The way that these mini masters are going to work is basically we have two regular exams, lecture exams, and then one final exam. And so that's for one, eight weeks. And then whenever I go to med search too, it's going to be the same thing, two lecture exams and one final exam. So, uh, there's actually more room for error you, or sorry, there's less room for error because you have less total grades. Like each lecture exam is worth like 25%. And then the final is worth, I don't know. It, it's, a, it's a large chunk of percentage. So I really gotta be on my game, studying hard and staying on my grind. Most definitely, especially in these eight week mini masters. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video that's about all that i wanted to say be sure to leave me a comment down below let me know how your first semester is going if you guys have started back and um you know as always like the video and subscribe if you haven't i appreciate you taking the time to watch it and i'll try to be dropping videos pretty frequently as far as these little vlogs go we'll see how it goes anyways nurse bass soon to be i'll see y'all next time peace